Apologies for the spring flu here, because I know I could literally just speak in a very rough and ready way, of course, here. But before I start this video, I also want to show you this piece here, and it's basically just a mundane piece of paper here. And sorry for the very rough and ready talking here, because I've got the spring flu via the pollen. I think the best thing to do is basically go ahead and try and take down the trash. I can tell you guys, eh, my, um... Looks like my t-shirt's not getting dirty at the moment, eh? That's very nice. But in this video, I think it's time to go into our very simplistic ways where we're going to take a bit of a gaggle this time. You know what I mean, there's a bit of a gaggle there this time. It feels like I'm going to do some sort of weird mundane wild goose chase here. And yes, remember I did the videos which actually talked about various amounts of geese species such as, you know, grey lags and also the Cape Bound geese. But in this video, I'm actually going to invite another species of goose, or species of geese, if we're going to call it plurally, of course. It's this one here, it's possibly one of the naughtiest of all bird species because, like I tell you guys, I, this one here could be the most notorious, and I think this one here is the wild and foreign red-breasted geese gaggling flock 12-pack. Whoever thought that a red-breasted goose would such would literally be such a great idea in the real world? And yes, as the price suggests, fourteen pounds or thirteen pounds ninety-nine is often used. And yes, there's a video here that there's basically a reason why ninety-nine is often used as a basically um a surprising sort of price, I would say. I wonder why they put 99 ins instead of zeros as opposed to 14 pounds, which is very unusual. But well, it's actually very common. But anyways, as we can say, oh my goodness me, there's a joke here. We'll get into that one later here. There's the anatomy on how to flap these birds. And let's, it's time for the joke now. It looks like that goose has got a bit of a, um, looks like the beak in that. It actually looks more like a, a buzzard beak. It looks more like a vulture, but it looks better than a goose. And it's time to do the joke. I'm going to do a jump cut. Can I lick your... Don't you dare! Well, this joke is actually something to intubulate people who actually intubulate a whole bunch of sex. But I'm actually not going to basically promote people who are basically going to do a bit of sex because if I would actually show that on YouTube, that would actually be very, very nudy, of course. Wait, hang on. Did I say nude? <laughs> Well, this video is literally gone off topic here, but here is the red breasted goose. Despite the name, these birds actually have a brownish sort of breast. But in real life, I think they have a bit of a reddish brownish sort of detailing, I believe, I suppose, eh? It's got a brown eye, and it looks what it actually looks like to me. It looks like a very midget size. It looks like a very colourful version in real life. It looks like. A much colourful but also smaller version of the Canada geese or the Canadian geese as I like to call it or Canada goose as I call it because this one here I'm actually holding it a single bird if I was handling two of these I would literally call them geese that's how plurality works not sure if it's a real word hopefully I'm being a bit notorious here it looks very, very nice these sorts of um, birds they look very very nice they've got the very conical greyish sort of beak there there's not much pen detailing except for the name red breast goose that's what they're called instead of red breasted goose and um, yes they've got the pen detailing on via the eyes there which is one of the other pen detailings there there's not much felt tip marker pen detailings here this one is a bit of a funny one because this bird here tends to flap a lot more dynamic on one wing than the other, which is very strange because most birds, uh, look at that, I'm not sure how dynamic this one will go, but I think it's very common to say that most birds tend to flap like so, you should look at that one eh, there's not much detailing on the wings here, it's all just mundane grey isn't it, makes your hands all sooty doesn't it, yeah, but anyways, looks pretty nice, a lovely brown cheeks as well, that makes it very rem reminiscent of a red breasted goose and to be honest it's one of the most exotic sort of waterfowl that you tend to find, I think they breed in I think they tend to breed in the northern part of Russia, let's just say not Siberia but I think it's like the northern part of Russia and then they um, they actually come 
they actually come to winter in Eastern Europe, let's say Bulgaria, Ukraine and Romania, I would say. I've actually seen these in um, St. James's Park, but they were actually feral ones, I would say. And to add to that, I'm pretty sure these guys might have been introduced into the bird collection of St. James's Park. And basically, St. James's Park is basically one of the largest... Oh wait, there's another goose here. Maybe there's something quite weird. Let me just count the geese for one because I'm actually starting to get a little bit hallucinated on how many geese are there in this video. So let me just count. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I knew she thought was there was basically thirteen of these buggers. But there were actually 12. I initially thought, I think at the first part of this video, there was basically 11 of these goddamn looking red breasters here. I mean, they're not robins, but they're literally called the red breasted geese. Or the red breasted goose. That's what I like to say. And they look pretty nice. They often spend in the winters in Eastern Europe. I think the major threats is basically fishing and poaching and hunting. Also, predation, that's what I would say. I'd say, um, predation as well. And also, um, another thing I would suggest is because these birds tend to migrate a lot, I think they tend to get a lot more, I think the population can crush down via the wind farms, which is going to be very, very tragic indeed. I think the blades of every single wind turbine in the world would literally just knock down these little buggers there, which unfortunately just sounds pretty bad, doesn't it? And I don't know why we're getting... Uh, I'm pretty sure this video is actually getting a bit too jaggy. It's also a bit too jittery and choppy now. Maybe it's because of the way the tablet's been filmed, and the way I would say. But anyways, this video has now came into a standstill for the fact that, like I tell you what guys, I, my videos will rule as long as they're good and not bad nor ugly. And like I tell you guys, I, this butter here oops, <laughs> is no so ugly duckling indeed. And to be quite prudent here, I would classify that this £13.99 product may give us the reference from the Australian retailer Coles. Down, down, the prices are down. Sorry about that status quo. But like I tell you guys, I... I think you've done a very fantastic job on basically creating that song. But anyways, I think that's about that in this video. I hope you weren't offended by the whole sex joke here. And as always, please give this video a like. And you can basically subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my content here. And there's loads of relevant stuff going on here. And anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and bye for now.